What up everybody, Tim Castleman here. I want to show you how to install your yellow page scraper. I'm going to be using the United States one for this example, but they all install the same exact way. So here you go, you've got the file. It's a RAR extension, so you can use WinZip to unzip it, but I do have a download link on the download page for this free RAR extractor. Okay. Now in, what you can do is you can decide where you want the files to go. You can have it go to your download you can have whatever you want to do okay so what I'm gonna actually do for this one is I'm gonna extract the files to the same folder now because this is on the desktop right no big deal uh, and then the next thing I like to do actually the very first thing I do is I create a shortcut and I always put that on my desktop just so I have easy access to do that and you can see by the way there's the folder it creates right there now what happens is it loads up Okay, and once it loads up, it'll be ready to rock and roll. This is the screen you'll see when it's loading. And then the main file will pop up there. And I like to make mine full page right there. And then all you do is simply this to use it. I load the yellow pages. You'll see that it pops up there. It already pops up my city and state. Okay, um, we're just actually going to do doctors how about that we'll do actually eye doctors for this example and then what you do is you click find and you'll see here we have 102 results what you do is you go over here to this analyze button and it pops up and it says hey we found 102 results containing four pages if you want to scrape all the pages you do that if you just want to scrape the current page you do that um, or if you want to just scrape like say pages one and two you can go down here using the drop down menu but for this one we're going to scrape all pages and what it will do is you'll see that it will work it has a little please wait bar now we do have a buffer built into this to ensure that we don't trip any filters or anything like that with the yellow pages so it does take a little little bit of time so if you notice a little bit of delayed response time that is intentional if you're super concerned about it I highly recommend you use a proxy however if you just use it and use it with good judgment okay obviously don't try to uh, scrape nine million results in four seconds and then wonder why what happens basically okay and then once you're done you export to a CSV file so for this I'm gonna do it on the desktop and I'm gonna do IDOC just so we can see it now something key and critical to remember this information is only provided via the yellow pages and it's only provided based on the information provided to the yellow pages so if there's a website out there in the interwebs but it wasn't provided to the yellow pages the scraper will not find it It only scrapes information based off the yellow pages all right so just understand that when you're looking at it now occasionally you'll get a little pop-up box that happens like that you just drop it there and as you can see eye doctors right here and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it what it's got is the business name the address, the city, the state, the zip code, and websites. And again, it's only going to have the information that's provided to the yellow pages. So where you see that there is not a yellow page or, excuse me, a website listed, it's because it wasn't provided to the yellow pages, not necessarily that it does not exist. It also has the phone number as well. But again, it exports it to a nice little CSV file. Now, if you have any issues or anything like that, feel free to contact me at my help desk. That's the best way to get in contact with me. The way that you do that is you go to Timothy Castleman, T-I-M-O-T-H-Y, Castleman, C-A-S-T-L-E-M-A-N, dot com slash help h e l p so again timothy castleman dot com slash help and what you do with there is you fill out a support ticket let me know what issues you're having and we'll rock and roll from there one other thing i want to show you i'm not sure it's going to do it on this one but if it does i want to show you it real quick okay sometimes you'll get a little box perfect it popped up saying this program is missing a windows component the truth of the matter is it isn't it's just a little box that pops up what you do is you just click this program works correctly also you want to make sure that you have Microsoft net 4 on there okay and again I've included a link to that on the download page as well so that you have all the access to all the things that you need but again if you don't or you have an issue that pops up feel free to contact me again at the support desk at timothycastleman.com slash help thanks so much have a great day talk to you soon